Today we're making an upside down banana bread cake. So a bit of a twist to the regular banana bread and it has different parts to it. So we have our topping, which is, I started on our topping, which is melted brown sugar, melted butter with brown sugar. So you get that going again. If you follow along the recipe, it'll give you all the instructions to have that heat up. So we'll put that in a prepared baking tin. So I just line my baking tin with foil and spray it to coat. So I will put the topping on. And then you have your fresh bananas. I have them right here. And what you want to do is cut them a little bit on the thicker side, that way it, they will not disappear into the into the butter once the cake is done. So I just snipped off a little side to it and I will go ahead and put it in. And you want to space them about half an inch apart. So I want to get all these bananas here. There you go. So that's out of the way and we preheated our oven 350 degrees and we will go ahead and get started on the rest of the bake. So I would like to start with my dry ingredients first and that way I have them ready to go when I'm ready to put it into the mixed, into the wet ingredients. Here I have my flour, put quarter, quarter teaspoon of salt. Of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder, and that is it for the dry ingredients. So, we want to just give that a little bit of a whisk to mix everything in. Then we'll start with the wet ingredients and this is a great recipe because you just sort of throw everything together you don't have to cream butter and sugar and so it, it's really quick so i have my egg let's go ahead and put that in my oil put a cup of oil and some sour cream Cream is great, it uh, makes it very moist. If you do not have sour cream, plain yogurt works just as well. You could use that. So there we go, the sour cream and brown sugar and a quarter cup of regular white sugar. So I will put two teaspoons of vanilla and after that I will go ahead and give it a whisk. And so we will whisk that in together. Whisk that together. So there we go. It's nice and mixed in. It's beautiful mixed in. So what we will do now is add the bananas. So there we go. And just stir that in. And the bananas. Um, the more ripe you can get them, the better. They impart more flavor. So as soon as they get to the point where you don't want to eat bananas with too many brown spots, perfect for baking bread. Here we go. So we'll start that. Then we are going to add in the flour mixture. See, that, that that's the importance of having it done for them. Then that way you just can't go right ahead and put it in. So just add it with about half the mixture just to get it going here. I'm going to try and mix that in completely. Go. I'm just going to add the second batch. Flour. There we go. There we go. Until just 
just combined. You do not want to overmix the butter. to to cool before inverting it. Uh, we give it a couple of hours, three hours, or even overnight before inverting it. And I will put it in the oven. I'm sure wait for it 45 minutes later. 